Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create. We're working on page two of Vagabond in Japan. This is a very simple page. We got a pocket here that is seven and a half inches and it is eight inches tall. You're going to score a half inch on three of the four sides. And so when you're finished, you're going to have a seven by seven square after you um, fold all your score lines down. So again, it is eight by seven and a half, eight by seven and a half. And I said it the other way around before, but once you get your three, uh, on the eight inch side, you're going to score both um, the top and bottom a half inch. And then you're going to wind up with this square. And where's my pick tool? I'm fumbling around because I couldn't find it. This is going to get installed flush to the right hand side which is the spine side of your album. Okay. I'm going to turn it around so I can see both of these corners and add my pocket. Ah, my finger wouldn't let go. There we go. Make sure I got yeah, right side up. Okay, so there's our nice deep pocket. And then we're going to have a flap that goes on top of the pocket to keep everything in place. I'm just going to quickly dry fit it top to bottom. Looks like it fits. This is four. Four inches by seven. You're going to score a half inch on the four inch side. So I was going back and forth about where to place the um, flap and I was originally thinking I'd have a decorator strip here and come in, but since this is the spine and this is the, um, the outside edge of page two, I'm actually going to do it flush. Sometimes I like to come in a half inch from the spine of the book, just so there's no interference as you're opening and closing the, the pages. Okay. I used, again, the um, Crocodile Corner Chomper, and I'm using the stub here, and I'm going to be using that throughout the book. It's not required. You could do rounded corners, um, but I kind of like the stub. We need to apply a magnet to hold this beautiful pocket flap in place, and we want to place it um, on the top first because this is where we're going to have issues with it uh, potentially needing to, you know, be down far enough that the magnet is covered. <clears throat> so we're going to test that. I'm going to draw a quick reference line here once I close the pocket. So I know I have from this line to the edge of the pocket to place the magnet without having to worry. <clears throat> I mean, there's plenty with it out having to worry that it's too close to the edge might be exposed. So I think this will do it. Yep. So just doing a quick test. Let's you guys want to know what did I do? So the center of the magnet is about seven eighths of an inch. So just an inch would be fine. Just come in an inch. You always want to be at least a half inch away from the edge of the um, panel that you're going to cover. More is better. Um, any less than that and then you really have a hard time getting the paper to lay down on the other side of the magnet without it wanting to buckle and then open up here at the edge. Now that, everything I just said, assumes that you're using a 16th inch border which is what I'm doing. The bigger your border, the further away from the edges you need to be. So, and there's other ways to accomplish that. I mean, if if you're using a say a quarter inch border which is a very large border um, you would just want to make this flap longer so that you know you could come in and still get that coverage hopefully that makes some sense <clears throat> okay that is um, the main elements of page two so I'm gonna take a break here be back soon hey everyone I'm back and we are working on page two still we're in the decorating phase and I think most of this is trimmed out but I might have to pause and 
I don't know, check a few things or trim a few things down. This pattern is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. And I liked it because it makes a nice big bold statement here on the pocket. I'm going to use my contrast paper so I can see the edge of my pocket. Oh, this is going down so much nicer than earlier today. It was just so humid. Um, I was really struggling with my paper and my glue. But I've been running my air to bring the humidity down. It's just crazy high. Okay, enough of that. You guys don't really care about that. So I trimmed... I've got two 12 by 12 packs. I think I mentioned that earlier, but I'm going to mention it again. And because I have two 12 by 12 packs, I could take the second half or the second one and continue my pattern on the flap, which I think is pretty cool. I think it makes pretty interesting uh, layout. And I've already inked it. And I'm not going to do it in this video. I'm going to do it at the very end. I'm going to uh, show you the inserts for the pockets. But I'm trying to upload the bulk of the videos as soon as possible. So in the walkthrough, I'm going to uh, show you what I do for an insert. It will be added to the cut list. It won't be in the video itself, but it'll be added to the cut list. Um, and part of the reason is I'm not done decorating the book, but I don't want to hold up uploading the, this and the, um, the inserts are going to be based on the paper that remains after I finish decorating the rest of the book. And we're only on page two. So what I've done in the past is I've, that's a continuation of this pattern too, is I have um, waited and added those details and then uploaded all the videos at the same time because I have to wait till I get done with the bulk of the pages before I know what's left for inserts. And when I do that, I literally spend 12 hours uploading videos. And that is just so frustrating because <laughs> if I get one hiccup, you know, it just holds everything up. So I'm just not going to do that. So I'll tell you what the size is. It'll be included in the cut list. And it looks like I need to trim this down just a, a smidge. And for those of you new to the channel, a smidge is one of my technical terms. So that means it's somewhere under a 32nd of an inch. But I'm just trying to basically get an even border around my paper without interfering with the hinge itself. And I need a little more. Okay, so officially that was two smidges, and I think it was about a 32nd of an inch. Very little. Now that's going to work. Everything else is inked, so we're ready to lay it down. And again, the insert, the measurement, will be in the cut list. And I will talk about it in the walkthrough. So you'll see what I do, but... It just won't be included in the page itself. It'll just be part of the walkthrough. But the, the size of the insert will be part of the page cut list. Just not in the, the rest of the build video for this page. So that is, I love it. I love when I continue a pattern across the flap. I don't know, I just think it's cool. But you are required to have two of the pattern. So... Again, two 12 by 12s, one A4 collectibles pack, one 8 by 8 collections pack, and one 8 by 8 backgrounds. And that's from the 8 by 8 and everything else is, actually that's from the backgrounds, the 8 by 8 backgrounds. Everything else on this page is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. That is page two, everyone. Be back soon.